relationship leads to identity. We're in relationship with ourselves, and so we form our identity. We're in relationship with our family and friends who help form our identity. We're in relationship with our coworkers who help form our identity. And also we're in relationship with Christ who helps form our identity. And we hope that we're rooted in that identity. I'm Laura Nicola. I'm your faithful therapist. Thank you for joining me. I'm talking about identity today and how we form that and what happens when we have psychological issues that impact the formation of our identity. So when we're forming our identity, what happens if our relationships are skewed? What if we tell ourselves lies about ourselves in our heads? What if things like trauma or anxiety or depression or any other psychological issue forms our identity as part of who we are and not something to fight against? We have to be cautious when forming our identity because the relationships are the pieces that we want to be healthy in our life. But if we form a false identity, those can lead to poor relationships. And psychological issues can absolutely skew the ability to form a healthy identity and a healthy outlook on ourselves. I'll give you some examples. Um, A person that is depressed might form their identity as being somebody that's unloved or unworthy or they might feel like a failure or they might not feel good enough or they might constantly feel miserable or they might feel weak and that forms an identity as a depressed person. Another example would be somebody that's anxious. They could have thoughts I'm afraid, I'm defeated, I have no direction, I feel like nothing's going to change, or I have no strength. And those thoughts lead to an anxious person feeling an identity of anxiety. Or another example, maybe a person comes from a family of alcoholism, and maybe they think, I'm unwanted. Or, God is really far from me right now. Or, I'm the only one, I'm the only one responsible for my life. Or, there's nothing special about me. So that person forms their identity based on what they struggle with. Any array of mental health issues can obviously also lead to questions of confidence or self-esteem. Thoughts that we're going crazy. We're losing our minds, just feeling really isolated and incapable of change. And these psychological issues disrupt our ability to maintain a healthy identity. So what do we do about it? We have to externalize those thoughts, those struggles, those issues from ourselves, our personhood. So we, we do that by saying, this, this is separate from me. This is maybe something I struggle with, or maybe these are thoughts that I have that I need to work through. But that doesn't form my identity. In a really basic way, I, you know, in counseling, I suggest, let's, let's just change our language from, I am a depressed person, or I'm anxious, or I'm bipolar, or I'm suicidal, to say, I struggle with X. I struggle with depression. I struggle with anxiety. I struggle with suicidal thoughts. I struggle with mania, whatever it is. I struggle with blank because that separates that psychological issue as being part of who we are. And that's really important because then we can get to the root of those struggles and we can develop coping skills to handle them. And we also have to make sure that we're, we're forming our identity in Christ. Some of the language of kind of the scripture, and I've heard this kind of referenced before, is saying that if we take on a new identity in Christ, then we can be set up to be the, the people that we're called to be by God. We're children of God. And so we, we kind of put on Christ Kind of, I kind of imagine like putting on a shirt <laughs> or, you know, or a shield of Christ. And that is our identity. I have some quotes here from Colossians chapter 3, verses 9 through 10, if you want to look it up. 
It says, do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old nature with its practices and have put on the new nature, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. How beautiful. We are, again, created in the image and likeness of God. So if that's our identity and we work out of that identity, we can tackle the world. Another one is Romans 6, uh, verse 6. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the sinful body might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. We, we root ourselves, we root our identity in Christ and we can conquer sin just as he conquered it for us. Last one, Romans 13, verse 14. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. So we, we can put on Christ, we can be in relationship with him, and that can be the, the bulk of our identity. We're obviously going to maintain our other relationships, you know, as the role of, you know, daughter or mother or child or coworker or neighbor or whoever. And those relationships are important, but we want the center of our formation of our identity to be rooted in Christ. So we, we kind of put off, we externalize our other psychological barriers to having a, a true healthy identity. And we put on Christ to form a more healthy identity. And the combination of the two just sets us up for the most success, both psychologically and spiritually. So let me know what you think about this. I, I'm a visual person, so I really like visualizing it. You know, what do I need to, what do I need to shed? You know, what, what thoughts, what behaviors, sometimes what people do I need to shed off of my life to be a better person? And what do I need to take on in the realm of our faith and putting on Christ? And what can he bestow upon me so that I may be the most faithful, healthy person that I can be? So try it. Try the visual. Look up those scripture verses if you want to like reflect on those in prayer. Um, let me know, you know, how you think of this, you know, kind of formation of our identity. I love the comments. I love the dialogue. So be sure to, to leave me comments. And also please subscribe and follow me on my other platforms. I post on Instagram and Facebook um, and also do videos here on Saturdays, obviously. So uh, be sure to keep following me for more content and as always, many blessings.